going to do a slightly impromptu uh, demo here, uh, similar to the turbo fan that we just uh, ran. This is a, a project uh, currently in progress uh, for a paramotor, and this is the propeller ultimately that we're hoping to uh, drive with the gas turbine. So what we've got to do really is just get the gas turbine initially sorted out, which it pretty well is, uh, and then develop the free power turbine, which takes the exhaust. You'll hear it's quite noisy, a uh, lot of high velocity, high temperature, which will then be absorbed by the uh, free power turbine. That will then go through a gearbox, which will then drive the propeller and hopefully power Roger here up into the skies. So we'll just give it a quick run. It's exactly the same as the engine we uh, ran earlier. Centrifugal compressor at the front, axial flow turbine at the back, vaporizing combustor. But this one is very, very similar to the turbo fan in as much as it's kerosene only. So it's got the pilot kero burner, which gets the whole thing started. And then the main burners switch in once the uh, combustor assembly is up to temperature. And then the starter uh, burner will turn off and it will be running on, on the, the main burners for the kero. Uh, so we'll just run it through fairly similar RPM range, about 35,000 on the idle uh, and somewhere around, we'll put it up to about 90,000 RPM. Uh, it's not the top end, but you'll get the idea because it's quite noisy. So anyway, Roger, let's uh, see it run. Okay, you can now hear the, the burners have started. And what we've got, you can hear that ticking noise. That's the, start, the, the starter burner. And it's just letting tiny, tiny, tiny pulses of kerosene through. And it's a, like a, a very small, Handle almost just putting enough heat in, and that's gradually turning off. And the main burner is turning on, and eventually that will stop completely and that will open completely. Anyone, I, I did try to point, but it's very difficult to tell you about it, but the fuel bottle being relatively narrow in diameter, you can actually see the fuel level going down at full throttle at quite a, a high rate. And the, these engines, especially the turbojets, a lot of energy is essentially wasted to atmosphere because you've got high temperatures and high velocities basically coming out the, the exhaust uh, jet pipe. But as soon as you get involved with uh, a two-stage free power turbine onto a propeller, you then 
keep all that high velocity and all that high temperature in the machine, or not all of it, but a good proportion of it. And that then actually makes the whole engine much, much more efficient because you're actually keeping that energy in the engine, turning it into a shaft power to drive a propeller which moves a larger mass of air more slowly and controllably, ideal for, for, for the arrangement. Roger has in his hand what's going to be the free power turbine for, so basically, it's a, a turbocharger exhaust uh, turbine. And what that does is it acts exactly like a windmill. And so the jet exhaust blows into the tips of that, changes the velocity and the temperature into shaft power, and that then goes into the gearbox and onto the propeller. Okay, everyone, any questions, we'll uh, happily come inside and have a chat. Thank you very much.